Help support Name Explain by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to the channel. Here at Name Explain, we always try and live by the mantra that every name has an interesting story. And sometimes when I'm struggling to make a video idea interesting because the core etymology of the video is kind of dull, I can usually find a way to pull out of the bag and make it interesting and craft a story in a good, enjoyable way. I mean, I hope anyway. Seriously, I really do think that any name can be interesting. However, I'm pushed to my limit in this ideology thanks to one nation in particular, and that nation being none other than Australia. Though before we get into this, I have to say that while I've never been there myself, Australia seems like a lovely nation full of great people, and many things I adore derive from Australia. And Name Explained probably wouldn't be the success that it is today without the name of Australia sounding very similar to another nation. I really hope my Australian viewers see the lighter side in all this, as despite how much love I have for the nation, I have one qualm about this country, and you can clearly see what that qualm is in the name of this video. Australia sucks at naming things. The nation is littered with places and things that have really literal, obvious, dull, and uninteresting names. The kind of names where you don't need someone like me to explain them. But here we are, and through some weird series of events, I've been tasked with the challenge of writing an interesting video about uninteresting names. So I'm tackling this by asking myself, why are these names uninteresting? And hopefully that ends up being interesting unto itself. However, a great place to start with these uninteresting names is with the names of the states that Australia is split up into. Australia is split into seven states. However, not all of these states have the dullest names. In fact, the four easternmost states of Australia do have rather interesting names. From north to south, these four states are Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, and the island state of Tasmania. Queensland was named after the British Queen Victoria, who on the 6th of June 1859 signed an agreement to separate the colony from New South Wales, allowing it to become its own state. Unsurprisingly, the state of Victoria too is named in honour of Queen Victoria, as she was still Queen of the United Kingdom and the British Empire, which Australia was a part of, when the colony was established in 1851. New South Wales is actually the oldest state in Australia. It was named by Captain James Cook in 1770. He initially named it just New Wales but eventually changed it himself to New South Wales. We don't actually know why he gave this land this name, but we presume it's because the land area reminded him of Wales, or at least South Wales. And the island of Tasmania is named after the Dutch explorer and navigator Abel Tasman, who was the first European to reach the island, as well as the first European to reach New Zealand too, and the first to sight the Fiji Islands. So yeah, I think it's fair that he gets an island named after him. Those four names I just covered in all honesty are still pretty uninteresting. Simply being named after people of interest, in one case it's the same person twice, or similar geography. However, these are super interesting when compared to what the other three Australian states are called, with these being called South Australia, Western Australia, and North Australia. Well, actually it's called the Northern Territory, and it's not actually a state but a territory though, nevertheless, the name still sucks. And if you thought these names were pretty to the point then I have some bad news for you. These literal Australian names go deeper than just being present at a state level. I found listicles online of, and I quote, Australian place names that need no explanation, and 13 Aussie place names that won't keep you guessing. So clearly it's not just myself who has noticed just how literal Australians can be sometimes with their nomenclature. So I would love to know from my Australian views if this is a known thing slash joke in the nation. And of course if you're Australian do you live in or near somewhere with a really literal or obvious name? Anyway, let's get back to some of these really literally named Aussie locations. Like I said, there are many of them and you should go check them out for yourselves. But my favourite include Red Rock, named due to there being a red rock in the area. Seven Mile Beach, named because it's a seven mile beach. Black Mountain, named because it's a black mountain. Circular Pool, named because it's a circular pool. Big Bend, named because it's a big bend in a river. Granite Island, named because it's an island with granite in it. And the name of the most northern point of Northern Australia, which is simply called the top end. There is not just geographic names that can end up being rather literal in Australia. Australia is home to some amazing wildlife and as cool as these animals are, a lot of their names leave a lot to be desired. Perhaps two of the types of animals Australia is most known for is their snakes and their spiders. Two quite common fears so apologies for that. Head to this time to be free of pictures of snakes and spiders and only say this because I hate spiders myself so wish me luck fam to look at pictures of these guys. 
There are quite a few Australian snakes with pretty obvious names. Perhaps the best example of this would be of the brown snakes, specifically the western brown snake and the eastern brown snake, named due to the fact they're both brown. Like I said, this is some pretty literal stuff. However, despite this dull name, the two brown snakes are considered to be some of the most troublesome snakes in the country, with the brown snakes being responsible for more deaths than any other group of snakes. In regards to literally named snakes, we also have the small light snake, it has small eyes, and the red belly black snake, which, you guessed it, is black with a red belly. For spiders in Oz, we have the white-tailed spider, named because it has white on its tail. However, my favourite example of a spider with an obvious name is this one. If you showed a picture of this spider to people, I imagine a lot of them would call it a black widow. And it's easy to understand why. It looks a lot like a black widow. However, it isn't one, which is fine enough. Things can look similar in the animal kingdom. However, the name black widow is seriously cool and evocative. So does this Australian equivalent have an equally cool name? Well, no. In traditional Australian fashion, it's just called the red back spider, as it has red on its back. This is just a small selection of places and animals with pretty literal dull names in Australia, though it leads me to thinking to myself, why is this the case here in the land down under? I imagine it's a variety of reasons, and a lot of this is my own theorising. It most likely has a lot to do with the history that's taken place in Australia. Australia is a relatively new country, especially in regards to the way the nation is today. Though that's not to say that the landmass and the current inhabitants appeared out of thin air. Australia has a very ancient history too, and that's something we'll be looking into later. Because of how modern a lot of Australia is, especially some of the settlements and the aforementioned states, it means that not a lot of history has taken place in them, so names deeply rooted in history or from a language of another time simply weren't able to exist. So these obvious, almost placeholder-like names were just put in place instead. I'm looking at you, Western Australia. Though this didn't really need to be the case, as there is deep history and ancient language in Australia that people could have pulled from when naming their settlements and states. Though it seems that the early colonisers and settlers settlers of Australia weren't too interested in finding out about the history or language of the Aboriginal Australians, preferring to give places obvious dull names than names of interest stooped in the history and language of the Aboriginals. Also, it may not really be the Australian settlers we have to blame for these names, but more likely the British officials who are shaping Australia into what it has since become. Let's look at the aforementioned Western Australia. The British formally claimed possession of the land in 1719, at just a the point they call Possession Point. Hmm, they called a point they claim possession over Possession Point. The dull name Red Flag should have been going off then. By the early 19th century, the British were worried that the French might claim land here too, so the British simply claimed the entirety of Western Australia for themselves and dubbed it Western Australia. So, yes, it's the Brits to blame for that one. Even the aforementioned Brown Snake once had a more interesting name. Initially, it was dubbed in French the Furlin Chilincotti, which means knitted furin, and this name references the royal fine mesh pattern on its body that reminded the namer Jules Verlu of fine stockings. Now this is a way more interesting and fun name in my mind. Think, I could have been giving you guys a what snake is named after stockings video if history played out differently, but instead the English language came bouldering in and simply dubbed this brown coloured snake the brown snake. Though maybe I'm being too one sided in all this. Despite what I've been saying there are some really interesting names in Australia. In fact the name Australia itself is pretty interesting. The name Australia derives from the idea idea of Terra Australis, meaning the southern lands in Latin. Before the entire world was explored, it was believed that there was a mass of land in the southern hemisphere just as big as the land in the northern hemisphere, so they dubbed it and preemptively drew it onto maps, Terra Australis. So when actual Australia was discovered, the name Terra Australis was adapted and applied to it. And of course, I have a whole video about it which just hit 1 million views, so thank you all. As well as interesting names, it also owned some really funny, silly names. I can't mention all of them here as they'll most likely get this video demonetized but Tasmania alone is home to the places of Granny's Gut, Tinkle Creek, Lovely Bottom, Humongous Hole, The Never Never and The Grunter just to name a few. Seriously some of these get pretty low brow so go check them out there'll be a link down below. And luckily for us there are a plethora of towns, regions, beaches, rivers, mountains etc too that have names from aboriginal origins. I mean I won't even attempt to say many of these but Wikipedia has a huge list of them all. But we have fun names like Amaru 
Narara, Buragun, Chadinguara, and Toowoomba, just to name a selection. And of course, with animals with Aboriginal names too. The ones that come to mind for me are the wonderful mammals that Australia has, with wonderful names like Wallaby, Bilby, Dingo, Koala, and of course, Kangaroo. All these names seem to derive from Aboriginal origins, and I'm so happy they've stuck around. Imagine if the British gave them dull literal names like Pouch Rabbit, Leaf Monkey, and Grumpy Dog. And thankfully, due to the respect that Aboriginals have been given over time, more Aboriginal names have become present in the country. Perhaps the best example being the two official names, one of the most renowned landmarks the country has to offer. I remember this being called just Ayers Rock when I was younger, named after former Chief Secretary of South Australia John Ayers. However, in 1993, it was given back its original Aboriginal name of Uluru, and this led to many other Australian landmarks having dual names, from the dull like Western Australia to the fun like. Like lovely bottom to the ancient like Aluru. Australia is a country full of interesting names. Now I just hope that my wonderful Australian viewers are aware of just how tongue cheek the title of this video is and how lighthearted this video has been on a whole. Personally, I just hope that this video doesn't get me sentenced to a booting. The states of Australia were suggested by Grey Computer, and thanks to their suggestion, they will now be honoured as Name Explains patron saint of the states of Australia. Do you have a good idea for somewhere that's name could be? covered in a name explained video? If so then please consider donating on Patreon. Just one dollar a month helps keep the channel running and earns you a weekly chance to suggest somewhere to be turned into a video and you too could be a name explained Patreon saint. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Name Explain depends on small monthly donations from fans like you to help keep the channel running. Just a small amount of $2 a month helps in a huge way, grants you patron exclusive Name Explain extras, and gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you. Hello all and thank you so much for reaching the end of the video. Stick around and check out another video and subscribe to up today on all things Name Explain. You can follow myself on Twitter at NameExplainYT. Follow me there and tweet the name Bruce at me so I know you came from this message. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again thank you all so much.